YouTube, welcome back to... Uh, what's the line? Hello YouTube, welcome back to Wing Wednesdays with this guy! Howard Wing and this guy... Adam Wing. They know who I am, it's my channel. Well, I know, it's just, a, it's it's just, just an intro, isn't in. it? So, I wanted your help um, with the video because... Somebody asked about meeting clients, not... For, for videographers specifically, uh, I know a lot of companies don't bother meeting couples before the wedding day um so there's plenty that will just book over phone or email and don't really feel it. it's not necessary to meet couples i always try and advocate meeting couples before the day but it's not necessary and a lot, i know a lot of companies don't but i got asked by someone about you know have you got any advice for what to say on meetings and stuff um so if you are in the camp of wanting to meet couples because which you should be because it helps build that personality and the uh, the personal the relationship between the rapport between yeah, 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 the couples the yeah yeah yeah, um, yeah. <clears throat> so I would definitely advocate it and I just thought to give my viewers some advice I would ask because you've got a brilliant system for like the initial meeting and the follow up meeting that you do um, nearer the wedding so I thought it'd be good to kind of yeah well ask I mean it depends I, again I think it depends on what stage your career is in I think when you're starting out I think it's imperative you should always meet everyone yeah. in your couples because you're gonna get you're gonna get more bookings that way because they're gonna relate to you, uh, and then it's a case of do you have a second meeting? When you're first starting out, I would say have the second meeting as well. Right. So go on. What's your process for your clients so, from start to finish? Um, for new subscribers and stuff, Howard's a singer, a wedding singer. But, Hello. Um, you, you always so if someone inquires with you, what what happens next? Because this this you can relate this over to. Yeah, well, obviously for me, because um, it's such a personal part of the wedding day, my entertainment sort of package that I provide, it's really important for me to have those meetings with my couple. The first meeting for me is to see that if we gel, if I like the couple and what I do will work for them, maybe not as necessary for, for a video, but it's, and when you're starting out, I think it, it's important that you can gain that rapport with the client and become friendly with them, chat to them, find out well, their expectations for a video, what, what they want it for, what they want it to do. But for me, it's just about when you turn up on that wedding, you feel like you turn up to a friend's wedding. You've already had a couple of meetings. You're really relaxed with each other. You're going to get more from your client, I think, if they if they sort of view you as a friend and somebody know a bit more yeah. than somebody just turn up on the wedding day Perfect. who they've not met before, you know? So it, it, in that respect, I think it's great. This and is that, what I wanted because... Um, you, you can give it, I, I can take what you're saying and relate it back to videography because I think that makes such a difference on the wedding day when I turn up in the morning with my camera to a load of girls who are half dressed just the fact that I already know the bride makes it so much more comfortable and less awkward you've not got that initial meeting moment because you've already done it yeah, um, exactly, yeah. a room full of girls, what, like half, half naked girls <laughs> Yeah, it's um, it's a real drag. I'm in the wrong job. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> such, I'm gonna have to... <laughs> such a drag. Um, as much, and I also enjoy filming the boys while they're half dressed as well. But again, it's a, you're not walking in and going, which one's the groom? Oh, oh right, hi mate. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So for that reason, it's important. Yeah, I know a lot of the guys out there will completely poo poo meeting couples because they don't think they've got the time to yeah. do it but I think it's a very important thing to do certainly at the starting point but, of your career yeah I just thought because some people do like doing it or if you're starting out it, you know consider doing it and then to get some tips well, and again it, it, it's actually going the extra mile and doing more than what your competitors are doing and there's probably not there'll be a chunk of them doing it but there'll be a, a lot of them that won't do it they'll so want wait. the easy way out they'll go straight they'll do it all in email and uh, and then yeah you've it's not... a good way to stand out in it because if a bride right. is sending five emails to five videographers she likes and then four of them are coming back saying here's my prices let me know if you want a book and then the, the last one says well, i'd love to chat to you more about your wedding i'd love to hear more like this is my starting price but like let's chat with the phone that's exactly yeah. it stands out straight away and for the right couple that will be more enticing well, i just think it shows to them as well that you are a little bit more uh, you want to be a bit more involved with them and their wedding, and, and you're you're giving a better service because you know you're really interested in them service, meeting yeah. them. You're interested in their wedding rather than just to reply with "I charge this." See you later. If you're on a big bucket, you know you're going to stand out from those people straight away, and people are going to warm to you instantly more than they would somebody with just, with just like a you know yeah, yeah. So, sort of a generic email response, which so a lot of people do. If you get, when you get an inquiry. How do you then so turn I, that so, into a meeting? Right, so for me personally, when I get an inquiry, I, I send off my uh, usual stuff at the start, 
great. I know where the venue is, so I say, I love that venue, it's fantastic. This thing is still working there, da, da, da. Try and create a little bit of conversation within that first meeting. Somewhere in it, I will say, look, my starting price is this, um, but I can't really explain what I do over the phone, uh, sorry, via an email, it's quite difficult to do. So I always meet my couples before taking bookings. It's just, just the way that I do it. So if you'd like to meet up, I always meet here. Um, um, let me know if you want to meet up and we can arrange it. And that's it, just friendly, informal, and it's not like you know, we need to go over all the details. It's like, no, let's just have a nice friendly chat yeah. about your wedding and I'll tell you what I do and, <coughs> and how I fit into your day. Um, There's another misconception that people think if you're going to meet couples, it's taking so much time because you're having to drive an hour to meet them, have an hour's meeting, then drive back an hour. I meet them at the pub around the corner. You meet them at your house. It's not, it's super convenient. There was a time I used to go to the hotel to, to do it, and, and it was, I was start, out all the time. But If you're at the start of your career, maybe it would be better to go the extra mile and, and go to them, make it more... If you, you know, if you're really trying to get the meeting in. See, now, if people say, oh, can you come to our house? Or there's a pub near us, I say, look, no, the meeting's got to take place at my house. All, all my couples come here. It's nice, relaxed, it's informal. <coughs> we can sit and have a cup of tea. But you can command that diviness because I you're can. established <laughs> enough. <coughs> but it, for me, it shows... It shows uh, their they're more into it if they're willing to come to me they're really interested yeah, in me they that. really want to book me they're excited about booking me and they'll make the effort to and come the, and those ones who don't want to do it into I don't, your world I don't, don't they really because it. it's at your house they're, they're sucked into the world without yeah. a doubt they come to meet my wife they come to my office i've got pictures of my weddings my awards and all these different things yeah, yeah, loads yeah. of talking points which you don't get if you're just in a you know in a hotel or in a bar yeah, you know premier in off the, the M6. With some, <laughs> some that one's before. Some pattern carpets <laughs> and some dodgy um, wall art. Okay, so then the, the come for the meeting. Uh, I was I wanted to ask you about like techniques and kind of how do you? Because I know the advice you gave me was just like I and what I do at meetings is I'll give them the day from my perspective and I'll be like right what I do is turn up at this time and I'll run through the whole day from my point of view so that they can visualise how I'm going to be on the. I think, I think from your point of view, you've got to feed to their expectations of what they're going to get at the end of it and what will, what will that video do to them and their life and their wedding. For me, it's kind of, I talk through the day and how I fit in and what I do and I, I explain the atmosphere that's going to be created, everybody's going to be having a great time, there's going to be no boring moments, people are going to be entertained, there's going to be, it's going to be hosted, yeah. they don't have to worry about it all. But well, for I you, say the opposite and you've say, got to say, I'm not going to do it at, you yeah. guess what, even though I'm there. And I'm selling that whole discreet, discreetness. But it's the same, you're, you're selling in how you will change the day and I'm selling in how I won't change the day. Exactly, and I think that, that's, that's, that's the key difference that's so, so important. I mean, I had a couple here just the other day in a meeting and I always tell them about video and say it's a really important thing, you need to do it. And the groom said, no, I don't really... Every now and I again, he don't... recommends me as well. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, they say, I don't want to be filmed and that's not really my thing. And then it's up to me or you or whoever to then say, look, this is my approach, this is how I do it. You won't know I'm there. However, you will end up with something that's going to be a keepsake for life that your grandkids can watch. And it's going to be something you can look back on with your friends, but not a boring style video. It's going to be something interesting watching. It's going to be, it's going to be cool. So, yeah, you have to sell your products yeah. in that way. But at the end of the day, just talk about what you do. With the, with the passion that you've got for yeah, it, that you love not it. Not selling. It's not selling. You don't have. There's no selling techniques involved. I don't think. I don't think in our world. You know, if somebody's saying buy it now, it's hundred pound cheaper. Then it's, it's just the worst thing you could possibly do because you're undermining what you do. Just talk about what you do, um, and the outcome of what you do. Because people are always they, they want that. They want to know that outcome. So just sell the outcome to them. No, no little tricks like like set, planting the seeds of fear and if they don't book so, and all that sort of stuff or yeah. what about the, the one about like when you nip to the toilet if they're on you know if they're like oh I don't know I'll have to think about it and you're like I'm just going to nip to Lou so, so got... at some point within the meeting you want to let them know that next year is you know I've still got a few dates left by the way next year is probably the busiest wedding year I think I'm going to have and all my every, on, every on, year. and all of my uh, supplier friends say the same thing you can put that little seed into the head um, you can also try and make out some exclusivity to them, like I only take a certain amount, it's got to work between me and my couple so they feel a little bit more special. Um, so putting those little seeds of doubt in the mind and thinking, shit, you know, really, we really want this, we're going to miss out, you could do that. The toilet one is always a good one towards the end of the meeting. 
just nips the toilet. If you if you really want to try and nail the meet nail the gig yeah. on the meeting, which, don't which I don't do anymore. Do. But at one point I used to well, let's go to the toilet, give them a little chance to talk and think about it, and then come back and then just sort of wrap up. It does up. work. That I've never it try and sell times. it at the end. Never try and sell it at the end. Just leave them. You know, my my line is well, listen, great guys. If you if you'd like to book, great. If you don't, don't worry about it. Have a great wedding. Uh, all the very best. That's how I finish yeah, my meeting. Like, oh, oh, no, no, no. Why are you saying bye to us? We don't want to go yet. Well, I, I let my couples know that I'm interviewing them rather than it be the other way around. I've said this before, yeah. yeah. And, and so then they feel really special, you know. Well, he wants to do it for us. And it kind of shifts it. You know, it's, it's not you're selling yourself to them. And it's it's the opposite way around, uh, and that's that's the way it is with me. So then they feel really sort of honoured and privileged that they're going to get you, you know. Interesting so, point of so view. So that, that's the way that and I always do it. And they're the best when they, when they when they're a couple that you you know have really saved and really wanted you there, oh, and wow. you you in particular, not just yeah, an entertainer. You know, and I see it when I see my couples on the wedding day for the first time. There might be some of the florists, somebody else knocking about, not really saying much to them. When I arrive, they're like, <gasps> "How are you?" Yeah, because you know, I've already met and you, and you, that. you get that, yeah, and I've yeah. seen it happen. Um, because not as often, but, but it's, but it's nice because when it you've built up this thing in the past. I think they've, yeah. they've 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 met you, they've studied you, they're really excited about you being there. And Friends it's, on it's, Facebook and all that. All, all that. I mean, I say that to yeah. the end because I don't want to give any surprises away. But but it's much more of a meaningful experience to them, I think. Yeah. So that's, that's the initial so, so that's meeting, the initial and then assuming meeting. that they book, um, then what do you do nearer the time? So how, how, well, how I think I think for the well, meeting, that communication then from once it booked between between <coughs> then and the second meeting. Yeah. So uh, I always if, it, if they, it's like you don't speak to them, do you, for like a year in a lot of cases? Yeah. So at the end of the meeting, so look, if you want to book, let me know. I'll send you all of the booking details, blah blah blah, and leave it at that. If they do book, then they reply with an email with the, with all with all the booking details. And I also put in there, look, I'm here for you. If you need any help or advice along the way, throw me an email, send me a text. Uh, I'm happy to, to answer any questions or give advice where I can. So that's how I leave it. And I do get people asking me, not a lot. It's, and you get a chance to recommend the other suppliers as well, which, which give, ex exactly, helps, you, exactly. helps you with your network and your relationships. Without a doubt. Other. So I say, look, if you need help with, with flowers, with video, with photography, with anything like that, just let me know. And I've got some great friends at what, that I work with regularly who are just fantastic. So then it's left then, but then I always have a final meeting with my couple a week or two before the wedding. I don't think it's imp as important for you. Um, no, but it's something that for, for the audience you could do. You, I mean, you, I certainly try and meet them at least once before the day so that you've not got that awkward on the day kind of you never met before. Um, but it's it's kind of nice to do it nearer the time sometimes as well because so it, it doesn't hurt to do both if your couple are willing to and listen if you want to do it I do for it me, it's the, important the nearer for me, the time I have to do it meeting I can re-show them the videos of exactly like this is how I'll film your ceremony this is what it'll look like and manage their expectations in that way and it's it's only a month before the wedding then so it's all fresh so I don't ever get those couples that come back and say do we not get this or do, did you not film this? You know, after the wedding, because I've already explained to them everything and, and I've managed their expectations in that. And way. I think the final meeting for you guys in that respect is a really good thing because then they know exactly what they're getting then. Uh, and, and yeah, you know, why, why not? Why, why not? I would. I mean, for me, I need to get all the details of the day. I need to get down all the people's names, all the songs yeah. I'm going to be doing. Yeah, yeah. It's very, very important. For, for, you know, but for you, then yeah, if people, if you can do it and you got the time and you're willing to do it, it's a little bit extra. Than other people do again. But then, see, why I'm, not? The de I have a details form that they fill in. Why you could just get them to fill in those details that you need on a form? No. Why? <laughs> Because I, I wanna, I wanna see their reactions when they're talking about certain guests. I wanna, I've got, I'm, I, I play music for them for the certain parts of the, my sort of hosting, so we pick it all out at the meeting. I could say what song do you want to walk into, but it doesn't have the impact. Yeah, but I think that that difference can have that. That's the same difference that you can do from a videographer point of view. Without a doubt, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, for me, it's certain I have to do it, and I love to see the faces, love to see them get excited about it, because it refreshes everything in their that mind. Does, it does make a difference yeah. compared to just One of the other reasons I meet as well, quite close to where, is because most couples are a bit annoyed at the wedding planning, or something's gone wrong, or they're a bit pissed off, they're not looking forward, some of them are not looking forward to it. We have the meeting, at the end of it, they're excited about the wedding, Again, and the, yeah, and the yeah. boosted, and they're excited to see you, because you've created that excitement on the meeting. And then people don't forget that. It goes a long, long way. And when you turn up on the day, they're like, 
Yes. And also there might be some changes since they booked you. Exactly, of, yeah. We're doing this differently now because that happens as well. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So if you've got the time to do the second meeting as a videographer, why not? Or the the next Nick thing from time. that would be a Skype, which is doesn't have the quite the same impact, but it's better than just yeah. email. Yeah, but I prefer phone call if, in that case because I don't like the reliance of the in, the connection with Skype because it can be I know. It can be hard work. But you can do it. You don't have to wear pants. It's another good <laughs> plus point true, for yeah. a Skype. We're not wearing pants now, <laughs> <laughs> which is weird. <laughs> Seeing as related. Um, yeah. And, and upsells is the only other kind of so that, that again that could be going another back one with the meeting, sort of sales yeah. techniques, which it's not really, but I give them, I just remind them of what they can add on if they want to. So what I would do for if I was you on in that respect on the final meeting, if they've only booked the shorter package, I would maybe have some options to show them, or even talk about what you did last week, where they got the full package and show some clips of it. Yeah. Just try and put the seed in their head of something they might want. Um, yeah, cause it's then, because at the end they know what the budget is. They know what they've got after left. After the wedding, they might if, be if, like. If I've said to them, you know, after the wedding, you might look back and go, actually, and then the, then the seeds in, and then then it does happen because it's like inception. So I remember one time you could after the wedding you could always say to them, look, I've got enough foot if you want the full thing. But I think doing it at the meeting would be a good one. You could say, look, this is sort of the last chance now. I know exactly what I need to bring for your day for the package that you've booked. However. Just let me know as soon as possible if you did want yeah, to upgrade yeah. for the extra package because I need to then do things a little bit differently, which I can't really do it on the day. So just let me know. Um, by the way, it includes this, 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 and all this benefit and all this stuff. And then you're going to get some of them upselling without a shadow of a doubt. Without, I mean, I, get, I, I, I get still it. get the odd upsell on mine, which I'm not bothered if I get it or not, to be honest, because I get home earlier. But I still get some at the end and go, yeah. go on, can we have the extra bit? And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, but you're never going to turn down I'm money, like, are you? I'm like, yeah, yeah I'm going to be home three hours later. But uh, <laughs> well, true, yeah. And, and if you if you're running a business, it's all about the bottom bottom line, you know, definitely. Got to pay the bills. Got to pay the bills. Um, cheers, yeah. I think that answers everything. Yeah. It was, uh, uh, yeah, it was just to get your specific sort of what to say on a meeting and. Well, you know, it's something it that I've always done right from the very start. Like of my even career, even you just saying that about. That, that's not you don't need to be a, a videographer to understand how to sell in videography add-ons oh god no no of course it's, not it's just a business it's just basic, thing, isn't it? it's just basic it's business business it? so that's why it's, it, it's cross platform and i know you're a singer but it's still uh, well, a lot of what I do to, and, yeah a lot of what i do and what you do it it, it, it crosses without yeah, a doubt yeah, yeah. um so yeah it's all about the uh, the client experience it, well, thanks for having me on again. Look, we're in the garden today. This is a, this is a bit. It's, we can oh, actually gonna, do it now. The weather's good enough for it. We're like on some wedding in. It Sorry, Italy we're in or Italy. <laughs> we're in Lake Garda. It's just <laughs> over here. Yeah, you, you can see the hills of Tuscany behind. Um, yeah, no, cheers. Thank you. No, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, any comments? Leave them as ever, and uh, if, subscribe if you're not. Well, then, yeah. Then do you guys and, uh, have? Two meetings, do you have one? What do you do? What's your take on it? We'd love, love to hear some feedback. Howard would love to hear. He never looks at any comments. On I look at all your comments. Do you? uh, I do. Okay. Thanks. But, you know, especially the ones where they say that guy, Howard, you with, is really cool. Yeah. It's funny, since we stopped <laughs> doing regular Wing Wednesdays, nobody's asked for them. Like, nobody said, where's Howard gone? Yeah, they have. Yeah, no, it's a lie. <laughs> a couple of people. <laughs> See you next time. Thank you. Cheers, guys.